Yeah, I picked up more puzzles and I don't really have any more space for them, but that doesn't matter. Well, hello there, guys. So not too long ago, I placed an order on Amazon and this was during one of their, I think it was like a prime sale they were having. So of course, with the sale going on, you know I was gonna look up some puzzles to see what good deals they had. Hit the like button if you tend to go on the hunt on Amazon when they're having their prime sales. And if not, what is your favorite place to find good puzzle sales at? So not only did I see this prime sale as an opportunity for me to pick up some puzzle sets at a lower price, but I figured it was probably a great way to pick up ones, specifically ones from brands that I don't currently own. So of all the puzzles that Amazon had on sale for that day, there were three in particular that fit both criteria that I set. It had to be inexpensive and it had to be from a brand that I do not currently own. Yeah, I picked up more puzzles and I don't really have any more space for them, but that doesn't matter. So here's what I picked up on the online sale. First one we have is one from a company called, I'm going to mess up this name really bad. And if so, I apologize. Our first one is from a company called Huadada. Huadada? Oh gosh, please forgive me. I'm not doing this on purpose. If any of you know how to pronounce this, please don't hesitate to write down in the comments kind of a breakdown on how I'm supposed to pronounce this. This one is 1,000 pieces. It is, when completed, 27.56 by 19.67 inches. And it's a pretty solid box. It's in plastic wrap. The puzzle box itself doesn't have too much information. It has this really long address, which I believe is from Asia. Then there's a address for Germany, so I'm not really sure where this originates from exactly. It does say that it is made from China, but the back of this puzzle box has other images from their other sets and these look really amazing. Now aside from the fact that this puzzle was fairly inexpensive and I do not own this brand, I've actually never heard of this brand before, but then again there are a lot of well-known brands that I haven't heard of yet or I haven't been introduced to yet. This puzzle really caught my eye because as soon as I looked at it I came up of course with a story in my head. I immediately saw myself in this image. There's my boat and as I park my boat and I walk up the little stone steps. I see this little, you know, table. I can definitely see myself sitting on that chair with a glass of wine, just living in the moment. It's a beautiful day. I'm taking in the beautiful mountain views, the beautiful trees around me. I got some wine. There's a little, what looks like to be a fruit basket set on the bench behind me. My boat is docked on the side. I could sit here all day and then when I'm ready, I'll just go, you know, jump on my boat again and take off. Now that I think about it, this is a little concerning. My boat is not tied to anything and it seems to be drifting away. That doesn't seem too good. That could be a problem. Oh, I guess I'm just gonna end up sitting there for the rest of my life with, with a glass of wine in front of me. That doesn't sound too bad. I'm sure some of you would love to end up in a little place like this after a little nice boat ride. I'd be interested to find out more about this company and um, if there's anything special about them. The next set that I picked up is from the company Ubisize. Is that right? I'm so bad at this. And this puzzle is 1000 pieces. This one is called Goddess of the Village. This one says it's made in China and I'm not seeing much else on the box aside from um, its size, which is 27.5 by 20 inches when it's completed. And that's pretty much it. Doesn't have a lot of information, but you do have a lovely image in the front of this. I mean, just listen to the name of this goddess of the village that sounds very like ugh. i love fantasy movies and games so immediately i was so drawn to this image the artwork kind of reminded me of thomas kincaid you have the beautiful background here is looks like a cozy little town a little fantasy town they're pretty big looking houses too i would love to say yeah that's my house back there but then you have like this goddess blended into the image on the bottom with the leaves and the grass this place looks so magical i love that stuff there's my boat again i always have a boat Def it, this definitely transports me to fantasy land not disney fantasy land but you know what i mean that kind of 
you know, Lord of the Ringsy kind of feel. Legends, I think, what was it, 80s movie? I love that movie, it's so good. All right, I'm getting off topic here. Let's move on to the last one that I picked up. The last one that I picked up from Amazon that I believe ticked both boxes. This one may have cost me a little bit more than I would have liked. This may have been more towards the $8 range, maybe more. It's from the company Ebu. Ebu or Ebo? Oh man, I'm trying. And this one is called Venice Open Market. And it's 1,000 pieces. It is 23 by 23 inches when it's completed. And the puzzle box actually gives you some information about the illustrator. And their name is Uta Krogman. And she is actually from Southern Germany. This brand looks to have its headquarters in New York City. Oh, look at that, 170 West 74th Street. That's actually like a five minute walk from my middle school but it also states that this is made out of 90 percent recycled board and printed with vegetable based inks another interesting fact about ibu is that it is woman owned that's fantastic this is a very nice looking box and what makes it even nicer i mean come on look at this image this is venice Back when I was in that middle school, my mom pulled me out of school for like two weeks and was like, hey, we're going to Italy. And I was like, okay. And one of the places we spent the day at was Venice. And this image really takes me back to that time. Another thing I love about it is that it is so colorful. The colors are bright. There's so much happening in this image. They're just people going about their day. You got a market going on here. I love farmer's markets. You got food, you mix that together with Venice, that's it, my head is gonna explode. I just, I just love food. You mix food and puzzles together, that's it, I'm, I'm going wild. I'm really interested to learn more about this company and I would love to check out more of their puzzle sets because I, re I do remember seeing um, other ones and oh my God, these images are so amazing. I love the illustrations. It's just something about it as well also reminds me of certain children's books that I used to read when I was little. It kind of gives me a, like a nostalgic feeling. I'm all about nostalgia. So yeah, this, this one's gonna be really fun. I'm excited to do this one. And when I finally do my review on this particular puzzle, I will research and talk more about the company and what they're um, specially known for. Well, that's it for my Amazon Prime sale haul. Do any of you know about any of these sets that I talked about today? And if so, let me know your thoughts on the quality, you know, the images, what you know about them. If you wanna see me put these puzzles together and others that I have showed in my other hauls, please subscribe so you can follow me along my jigsaw journey into completing as many puzzles as I can. Thanks for watching guys, and I will see you next time. Now I really don't have space for these.